The first question that I have is, what are the high points of your job search for a faculty position in an American college or university? Some of the high points, I think, is that um, several universities in the United States have the same kind of um, pattern that they use for the job search. So you will be required to submit similar documents to the universities that you submit to. And you can work on those documents at the very beginning of your job search and then you can customize them for whatever university you're applying to. So, you know, you don't have to think about doing things differently for different countries. Um, instead, you have an overall way of doing things and then just kind of customizing as you see the different positions that come through during the job search. Okay, the second question I have is, uh, what are the low points of your job search for a faculty position in an American college or university? Um, I think that one of the low points for me was definitely um, waiting for positions to come through or to be posted or announced. You never really know when a position is going to be announced. So at the very beginning of your job search, you may not have as many positions listed that you want to apply for. And then also, um, you know, you have to wait to see when the position is going to come through. It could be um, the fall or sometimes at the very beginning of the spring, you will see a lot of positions come through. Now, in the meantime, uh, for me, I was working in my doctoral dissertation. So I was applying for jobs and doing my doctoral dissertation work. If you're doing that, you know that that is a lot of work to do at the same time. Um, I was going through my data collection process, which requires a significant amount of time. And of course, and the recruitment for the data collection also uh, took a significant amount of time. And then at the same time, you're trying to prepare materials for your job search. So not knowing when a position is going to come through and um, you know, having to prepare for deadlines um, for that position and then working on your doctoral dissertation at the same time, you know, can make it very stressful for you. So just be aware that, you know, if you're working on your doctoral dissertation and, and looking for jobs, it's, it's not going to be an easy time. It's actually going to be fairly stressful. Uh, you just have to be very careful about managing your time properly. The third question that I have is, what strategies did you use to manage your faculty job search? In retrospect, what strategies would have been helpful in managing your faculty job search experience? Um, so I think everyone's a little bit different and you may find a method that may work better for others but doesn't work well for you, but I'm gonna share my experience. Um, what I did is that I created a folder titled job search and then within each folder within that folder I created individual folders with all the documents that were required for a specific position. I in addition to that kept a separate document that listed the deadlines for each of the positions and then I just kind of kept track of when the deadlines were and what documents I needed to have ready in that folder for submission. Um, Another thing that I did um, before I started submitting documents is that I drafted documents for my research agenda and, and my teaching philosophy. So that whenever a position opened and it required those documents, I could kind of customize it depending on the institution and what I thought would be best for that specific program. Um, in addition to that, I also contacted several faculty members to serve as a reference for letters of recommendations later on in the process. So I would not be asking them for letters of recommendations last minute. They knew that I was in the job search and that I would be requiring them to write letters of recommendation for me. So those were kind of the three things that I did. I created my folder system. I had my um, document with deadlines. Um, and then I also had um, drafted some uh, documents that I knew were going to be needed uh, throughout the job search and make sure that I contacted my uh, professors and faculty members that I knew that would serve as reference. Question number four is, what issues or challenges did you experience in putting together your job application? 
I think I have two main issues or challenges. The very first one is that um, English is not my first language, so I wanted to make sure that all my documents were well written. Um, so I had them check for um, grammar and spelling and just to make sure um, they were uh, well written overall. So I would recommend all international students doing this before they submit their application. You don't want your application to be rejected because um, of something that could have been corrected. Um, the second issue or challenge was actually um, the timeline to submit uh, reference letters. Uh, for some job applications, as I mentioned before, you will only have to list your references. And for others, you will have to require your references to submit the letter of recommendation with your application. So um, making sure that you keep track of your timeline or what others are doing, then that is something to keep in mind. And um, also, I want to make sure I, I say that you know, for some institutions, they're going to require three uh, letters of recommendations. For others, they're going to require five. So you want to have a range of people that you're going to ask for letters of recommendation. So, you know, they're very busy and um, you can ask different individuals for different applications. Okay. Question number five. How did you prepare or manage the issues and challenges of the campus interview? Um, the campus interview was actually um, a very nice experience I had um, and one of the things that I did in preparing for the campus interview I read quite a few ex like blogs of people that had gone on campus interviews um, I also talked to faculty members at my institutions to kind of get their perspective point of view of what they had experienced um, and um, some of the things that I did to prepare for it is that I tried to arrive the day before. So um, the day of the interview, which started like at eight o'clock in the morning, I wasn't, you know, getting off a plane and rushing or anything like that. I was actually, I had arrived the day before. So I had a nice um, sleep and I was ready for my interview. Uh, wear very comfortable clothes. Okay, professional clothes but uh, clothes that you feel comfortable in. Also wear very comfortable shoes. You're gonna be walking from one place to the other, so you have to be able to you know, be comfortable. Um, one other thing that I would say is that I love snacking, and I was worried like, oh my, what if I get hungry while I'm on my campus interview? So what I did, I put little granola bars in my purse, and um, you know, if I was hungry, I would go to the bathroom and have like a little snack. Um, and overall, just be yourself um, because you want to be in an institution that knows you as you are. So uh, be yourself. Um, another nice thing about the on-campus interview is when you talk to human resources, um, you probably have already gone through your face-to-face -face interview with your department. You have already talked to the dean. And in my case, they were very relaxed. Uh, they were there to give me information. So it will be a time to just kind of feel nice and relaxed. Uh, so I, I would say in retrospect, um, be prepared to answer questions that, um, you know, you cannot answer uh, as detailed during your phone interview. Um, be yourself, um, you know, keep a snack with you and wear very comfortable clothes. Question number six, what were the surprises for you during the application process? I think I have one major surprise during the application process. Um, and that was actually the amount of time that it takes for um, the search committee to go through your application or when exactly they go through your application. Um, I remember s submitting documents for um, jobs at the beginning of the fall um, and waiting two or three months to get a response. And in the meantime, there are other positions that are coming up. So you're wondering, should I wait for that other position? Um, to go through the review process or should I apply for a new one? Uh, my personal recommendation, if something comes up that calls your attention, apply for it. 
because sometimes institutions can go through the review process within a month. Sometimes they go through the review process during two or three months. And you don't want to miss out on an opportunity because you were waiting on another position. Um, so the timeline, again, of when the review actually occurs um, is something that you kind of have to, to keep in mind and um, just apply for the positions that you feel comfortable applying for. Um, some institutions take longer, others go through the review process very fast. So yeah, that was probably one of my um, surprises during the whole job application process. The last question that I have, number seven, what lessons can you share with those who are planning to apply for faculty position in American college or university? I think one of the very first lessons um, would be to have a really good relationship with faculty members that you meet throughout your education journey. Um, your undergrad professors, your master's degree professors, your doctoral degree professors, um, so that when you need letters of recommendations, they are there for you and they are more than willing to write the letters of recommendation for you because um, they are pretty busy individuals. So taking the time to uh, write a letter of recommendation for you and customize it for every single university you apply for takes a significant amount of time. So, you know, you want to have a good relationship uh, and, you know, it's going to pay off in the long term. Um, another thing that I would recommend is also um, practicing your communication skills, um, verbal communication in English and written communication in English are very, very important. Even if you are a very high qualified individual, um, faculty and search committees are going to look at your ability to communicate with their students. And if they feel like you are lacking in that way um, to communicate with their students, they may not consider you for a position. So make sure you practice your English um, written communication skills and your English verbal communication skills. Um, the third lesson is that um, you need to stay very organized and to manage your time properly. You probably already know this. Um, if you submit documents for a position and you're missing something or you met you you sent additional materials you didn't mean to send um, then that can af affect your job application so keep that in mind uh, straight uh, try to stay as organized as possible as you're going through your um, job application process